sometimes a product seems to come to market at just the right time. And that's certainly the case with the Charge N Pro MagFloat. This is a premium magnetic stand for the iPad and it's absolutely on point with its design aesthetic. Uh, it almost looks like Apple made a mini studio display. With the release of Universal Control for Mac and iPad, a stand like this makes a lot of sense to me. So let's take a look. Uh, this stand has been a while in the making. I first spoke to Charlie, its designer, back in June last year. Um, he offered to send a prototype for me to have a look at, but I wanted to wait for this final product. After a very successful Kickstarter campaign, here it is. Uh, now a quick disclaimer, Charge M Pro sent this MagFloat stand to us without charge, and we accepted on the basis that we retain full editorial control of the video, and we're free to give you our honest opinion. Uh, which I'll do now. Uh, this is the model for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro and it retails at $129. There's also a smaller version for the iPad Pro 11 inch and the iPad Air 4 and presumably 5 as well and that retails at $119. Your iPad attaches magnetically to the stand and there's enough force here to give you plenty of confidence that it's not going to fall off at any point. Uh, but it's also easy enough to remove. Now the magnetic pad here is covered with a soft microfiber material so your iPad isn't going to get scratched and you still have the cutout so that you can use the rear facing camera if you wanted to. Now once the iPad is attached you can adjust the angle of the display through a full 180 degrees and that is just fantastic. Now also on their website, Charge M Pro say that it offers 360 degrees of rotation, but uh, unless I'm doing something wrong, it's only offering 180 degrees here. Which is a shame because if it did offer that full 360 degrees, it would give you the choice of having the charging port facing to the left or to the right, and that might be useful. Still though, how many stands come even close to offering the level of adjustment that we've got here? Um, I do wish that there was a detent in the rotation mechanism for landscape and portrait position, but you, you have to just kind of make sure manually that it's straight. Uh, that's not a deal breaker by any means, and the action of the mechanism is lovely and smooth. Uh, there's no height adjustment with the stand, but in fairness that would add to the complexity and the price. In fact, thinking of price, considering how much Apple charged for a Pro XDR stand, I think it's remarkable that a startup can design and engineer such a premium product like this, at this kind of price point. Now you also get this USB cable supplied, which has a U-shaped uh, Type-C plug. Uh, that's really nice because it serves to maintain the minimal design aesthetic. Now I can see this stand being incredibly useful for people who use their iPad as their main computer. Uh, pop it on the stand, connect up a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse and you've got a nice little workstation here, almost like a, a miniature iMac. I've been using my iPad as a wireless display for my Mac for some time. Uh, I found it's incredibly useful to have a small display with pencil support attached to your Mac. It's ideal for signing or marking up PDF documents, which is something I do reasonably often. And I also like to have a small display showing my Teams window or my email. And I know developers often like to have a screen with reference materials or Discord chats or terminal apps running on a small external display. And this stand with an iPad Pro does a great job for that. But whilst the wireless display feature is really useful, it can be a bit laggy and unpredictable at times. And now we've got a much better solution, universal control. This feature was added to iPadOS 15.4 and macOS 12.3. And it allows you to control multiple Macs and iPads from just one keyboard and mouse. Uh, let me show you how it works here. I've got the iPad set up next to my Mac and if I move my pointer to the edge of the screen and then push through, I can now move my pointer straight over to the iPad and I can control my iPad with my Mac keyboard and trackpad. In this scenario, you're getting the benefit of having that external display, but the iPad is doing what it does best. It's running iPad OS rather than just working as a display. So you can have your email, your Teams, or your Discord chat open. You just run it natively on the iPad. Uh, effectively, you've got two computers, but you're using them from one keyboard and mouse. It's genius. Uh, you can even move files between the machines. Look at this. I can open the Files app on the iPad, and I can drag a file straight to the desktop of my Mac, and it copies across. Universal control is a really good feature, and I think that this MagFloat stand from Charge M Pro really enhances the experience. This is a great product, and I've put some links in the description if you want to get one for yourself. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed this brief review. If so, please give the subscribe button a click. Don't forget to like or dislike uh, and leave a comment below to let us know what you think. I'll see you again soon for some more geekery.